easy. And shout out to our Patreon supporters. Oh. I'm telling y'all, if y'all are not subscribed to our Patreon, um, y'all just don't get all the love. Like, y'all just get, like, a, a portion of me send my love, which is still great. It's just the P Patreon fam, they really get a different level. They do. A different they extension do. of our love because a lot of our Patreon supporters were responsible for our trip. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just so grateful for that, man. And they were really rooting for us, seeing names actually say how they were praying for us and keeping them updated. So they knew about us going to Doves before even y'all did. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Y'all got to tap in. Y'all got to tap in. So go ahead and tap into our Patreon. And um, even shout out to our Patreon supporters, our pastor, Pastor Jeff Dawes of Stockbridge Community Church. He really played a big part in us being able to go out there as well. And it was just sweatless on on that account. Yeah, yeah. Even shout out to, to Beatrice Holmes. Like, she gave so much for us to make sure that our trip to the Devil Wars was completely smooth. Um, I'm missing one other Paige person. Shepherd. Paige. Paige. One of our Patreon supporters who played a big part, uh, a big, great donation being able to support us and we just we appreciate we appreciate it all man the way the literally Mia the way that we looked yo at bro the dove and, and here's here's the blessing about the doves it's right? because of the Patreon it ain't no for real for real and I'm I'm talking about like the camera quality the sound the quality sound. like the lights everything the microphones like. Pam Martin, like so many people. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shout out to so Pam Martin. So many people gave just to make sure that we have what we need. And it's because y'all love us. Let me highlight Pam Martin really Thank quick. You. Pam Martin made our mic flags. And on short notice, on such short notice, and shout out to Chemo. Um, it, it just pays to be able to know people. I'm going to be very transparent. Um, Pam Martin goes to our church. And Chemo knows her and was like, oh, let me reach out to Pam and see what she can do. And she did it last minute, and they look phenomenal. They if you're do. watching our video, we actually have them on our mics in studio now. And, man, they look so good. I just remember the day where we had wooden mics, mic flags, and them joints was falling. We just had to work with what we had. And these, they look so clean. They look so crisp. And so crisp. And she, thank you. Thank you, Pam, for all that you did with our, our mic flags. Um, we talked to a lot of people. We did. This year at the Doves. Um, who who were some people that you enjoyed talking to? Oh, loved talking to Major. Major. Major is, uh, he kind of came out as an artist um, in the R&B space. Yes. The song, uh... This is why I love you. Like honestly, it, and when it when it was playing, being played on mainstream radio stations, I thought it was a wedding song. Mm -hmm. But we got a chance to talk to him on the Double Wars red carpet, and he said that was actually a song that I wrote for God. Isn't that crazy? But but that goes back to the hashtag. Yeah. Because he grew up in church, and that voice is just so great. He has so much sound, so much dynamic, so much range, so much soul, Whoa. and. And it it, 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 it it really does show. It really wow. does show. But he has such great personality, mm -hmm. great energy Love on the red him. carpet. Um, not to forget to mention that he dressed to impress. Yeah. Loved. There loved were a lot of nature. cowboy hats this year. You cannot forget the cowboy hats in Nashville. Yeah. 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 Because shout out to Ja'Kalen Carr. Yeah. We talked to her. She's so beat. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and she's petite. She's, she's so, so nice. She's so petite. I think she was going to be so small. Yes, I know. Um, Even meeting some new people, got the chance to meet Mariah, who's a phenomenal singer. Um, We had a chance to talk to her and meet her uh, and talk to her for a little bit. I'm trying to think of anyone else. Shout out to, of course, everyone in CHH because, and, and that's another reason why I love going to Doves is because I genuinely feel like we represent our genre. And I don't take that lightly only yeah. because CHH has grown has grown a lot in the Doves arena. When it, well, of course, having awards, being a part of the show, being recognized, things like that. Other artists being recognized and being honored. So I genuinely feel like we're going representing our, our genre. And mm. I, I genuinely like hold that near and dear. So anytime we see anyone in CHH, it's a must to be able to talk to them. So, of course, talking to Anike. I got the chance to talk to Trip and got, got the chance to talk to Indie Tribe as well, Alex Jean, um, Ace even got a chance to talk to him and it was just it was it was great also being able to talk to people that we're familiar with. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else. Chandler Moore from Maverick City. 
So kind. Very, very kind. Very and, kind and individual. And David and Tamala, man, yeah. they have such a relationship with each other that I feel like is so admirable. Mm -hmm. They are one of the busiest people, I think, in Christian music and Christian entertainment. Mr. Brown yeah. and Cora. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, they, they are... They just do so much. He acts so much. He does a lot of behind the scenes for her tours and her music. But she is a vocal powerhouse. Mm -hmm. And you can just see how much they prioritize their marriage before anything else that mm -hmm. they do outside of whatever they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like They balance so much. But you can truly see their love for one another. And they have devotionals for married couples and everything. And they just were so awesome. Just such a breath of fresh air. Now, I did not get a chance to speak to my queen, Cece Winans. Mm -mm. But she tore the house down when she, she opened the show. She opened the show, y'all. Oh! And it was so good. And we can talk about this now, because by the time y'all hear this, the show would have aired. Yeah. So, oh, y'all, she's so beautiful. We didn't see her in person. I just saw her on that screen. And she just looked so phenomenal. Yeah, she did. Now, now, performance-wise, shout out to Anike and the Holy Girls. Oh my gosh, y'all. They did so well. I'm so proud of our friend because we've seen her at the beginning of it all. Like when she was working A&R at Reach Records, when Blessed Up came out, she gave us a sneak peek of it and it just was awesome from that moment. But Anike has grown so much, not only as an artist, but as a performer and she's she's blazing the trails for all holy girls and, and female MCs. I'm so proud of her. And listen, we're not just saying that because it's Anike. Anike genuinely made history that night. She, she is the first woman in Christian hip hop to perform during the dubs. Oh my god. That's never happened. Oh my god. That's a huge deal. She did that and y'all killed it. I had Chills. I, yeah. I, I had to stop. I was recording her performance. I had to stop because I was just like, I just need, I just want to watch and just enjoy this because mm -hmm. this is phenomenal. Shout out to Deja Hector and uh, A Studios, who were her dancers, and Deja, who is her choreographer, who has, who is literally anything regarding uh, Anike, she's choreographed. And also, Deja was the creative director for that performance. Wow. And that was such a shout out to Clark D. Clark, who produced all of uh, Anike's music, who did the live arrangement, which was phenomenal. It was great. It was phenomenal. Y'all, when I tell you I had chills, I was just like, oh, my gosh. It was a, a, just a well, all uh, all around phenomenal performance. And one thing I really admire about Anike is the fact of how I think Anike's always been aware of her position, and she's always been a pull behind, come with me. Mm. the fact that she brought up Portia on stage. Yes. And even seeing on the red carpet, and even during the, the performance, if you go back and watch the performance, Queen Lee, Lee Vasi, Toya Love, um, I mean, Adia Sings, oh, well, Adia, who's a, a gospel artist. Um, Angie? I'm, uh, Angie Rose, yes. Like, I'm Toya I Love, there's so many people I'm missing, but she brought them on stage with her. Yes. And shared that moment with her. Yes. Other women in the space. And she didn't have to do she that. She did not, no. But she did. Yeah. And that just, to me, brought them on the carpet. That speaks volumes yeah. to me. Yeah. Speaks volumes. Uh, and Nikkei, is, yet no, she hasn't been in the game as long as Lecrae, but I love how she uses her opportunities yes. to say, hey, like, let's all, let's all let's get in together. on this. Let's move together. Yeah. That's so admirable. I think that's that's what truly makes a disciple. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, like. A trailblazer. Absolutely. A pioneer. Absolutely. When you can bring up people with you and yeah. say, no, it's not about me. It's about it's us. It's about us. Yeah. And KB did that oh, when he Misa. won the award. For Rap Hip Hop Album. For Rap Hip Hop Album of the Year. All of the other performers, and sorry, all of the other artists that were nominated, Zanti, Lecrae, Indie Tribe, um, all, 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 of the, all of the guys that were nominated for that same category got on stage with him. And when I tell you the speech almost had Phenomenal. me in tears. Yeah. He, number one, he dedicated that award to his mother mm -hmm. because doctors- Who was there. Who was there. Doctors told his mother- Years ago, when he was a, a young boy, a baby even, that he would never speak. He would never talk. 
and this man is rapping all over the world. Got mm-hmm. a podcast, written books. Like he he's doing it. He's literally out here proving doctors wrong because he had a praying mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then he also just talked about the importance of bringing the next person behind you up and what the space of Christian hip hop means and why we all have to still band together. And it's not about me winning the award. We all won. Mm -hmm. And I'm literally paraphrasing, but he put so much heart and soul and thought into his words that everybody was on their Their feet feet, when he said thank you and walked backstage. It was a beautiful moment for Christian hip hop. It was. It was. I'm trying to think of any more moments. That um that really stood out to me, um I think regarding the show that may be it. Oh, Natalie Grant. Oh my gosh, y'all, I was sleep on her. Natalie Grant performed. I did not know. I'm not pre- familiar with Natalie Grant. She's a Christian contemporary artist, and um I will say she is a white woman, mm-hmm. but she got on that stage. When I tell you, and when I tell you, we were backstage in the press room at the time when we heard her sing, and. When I tell you the reaction from all the black people in the room, you like and shout, and shout out to all the for the black people who know what I'm talking about. When when they, we hear when you hear a note being sang, a singer singing phenomenally and eloquently, we all you us as black people, we have to give you a reaction to that. And we gave a reaction, sure didn't, and she, cause she she hit a note, and we all said, mm, Mia, at the same time, Mia, that lady can sing. Listen, man, listen, you, listen, you have to subscribe to our Patreon, cause we have Ooh. more details there. Go over to our Patreon, so we can give you more Doves details. In the meantime, here's some more music right here on You Already Know. It's Eminem Live Radio.